Hi everyone! In this video, we'll learn how to import into Terrigen an image that will be used to create our terrain. This type of image is commonly called a height field. For this video, we want the terrain we create in Terrigen to be an exact match to the layout of the 3D terrain objects we used in our 3D software package to previs the scene. We're ready to begin importing the previs terrain into the project. First, let's start with a completely empty terrain so that we can clearly see the landscape features generated by the height field image rendered from our 3D software package. Click on the terrain bookmark in the node network pane in order to zoom in and center on the terrain group. Drag out a box to select the top three nodes above the Compute Terrain node. Then, press the Delete key to remove them from our project. Make sure you leave the Compute Terrain node where it is. Now, click on the Terrain button on the toolbar. Click on the Add Terrain button at the top of the node list and select Height Field Load File. From the Open dialog, navigate to the location of your height field images. Select one and click Open. Click on the Fractal Detail tab in the Height Fields layout. Then, uncheck the Add Fractal Detail checkbox to disable it. This will ensure that Terrigen won't add any extra detail to our height field at this time. Click the plus sign next to the Height Field shader to expand the child nodes. When first imported, the image resolution determines the area covered by a height field using the ratio of 1 pixel equals 1 meter. Our image is 2000 by 2000 pixels and you can verify this at the bottom of the layout in the X, Y, Size, and Meters display. However, in our 3D previs scene, the area actually covered by our height field is 58 kilometers, so we need to increase the area covered by our height field by adding a resize modifier. Click the Add Operator button at the bottom of the node list and select Height Field Resize. Type 58,000 meters into both boxes of the Resize and Meters field. Enable the Rescale Vertical checkbox, which will preserve the ratio between the vertical height of the image and the resized horizontal dimensions. Now, let's establish the height of our terrain. Click again on the Add Operator button and select Height Field Adjust Vertical. We can match the precise height of the geometry established in our 3D previous scene by typing in 2,182 meters for the highest point of the terrain and negative 142 meters for the lowest. Then check the Set Height Range checkbox. Disable the other two checkboxes for Multiply Height By and Add Height. Now, you should see the height field displacing the surface. Press the Play Animation button at the bottom of the Terrigen window to view the terrain from different points along the shot. Don't forget to save your project. As you can see, Terrigen is able to duplicate the exact terrain from our 3D software package by using height fields. This gives us the flexibility to make changes to the previous scene. For example, repositioning the 3D mountain objects, then updating the height field image and reloading it into Terrigen. In our next video, we'll see how to use Terrigen to transform this blocky terrain into a more naturalistic terrain. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thanks for watching. Thank you.